All right, and we are live. Good evening po sa inyong lahat mga kaguro. And of course, welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. We would like to especially welcome back, of course, the members of Team Piaché. Again, if you are a member of Team Piaché, you can answer our quizzes. You can watch the full-length video. You can have a copy of all the materials that we have from the previous, no, kahit sa previous natin mga materials since last year. When we started Team Piaché, you can still have your access to that. Then, of course, you can join us for our final coaching, also for our our pre-board again there's no other way that you can join us for our pre-board and uh, to our final coaching but just by becoming a member of team piache yan lamang po yung way no yung method kung paano po kayo maka uh, joins at ating pre-board and final coaching is by becoming a member of team piache so again just send us a message to our facebook page that again is gurung pinoy now our let september 2022 pre-board is scheduled by next week the no, next friday na po general education 150 items that will be on august 26 your quiz is going to be available from 7 a.m until 10 p.m then prof ed will be on august 29th that's a monday you know 150 items for professional education then we will start the following uh, wednesday final coaching discussion that's from august 31st until september 23rd still mwf at 7 p.m philippine time again this is just exclusive for the members of team piaché so again if you are still going to take on uh, you are still not a member of team piaché but you will be taking the let this september magpa member na po kayo na i encourage all of you to become a member of team piaché para po maka join kayo sa ating pre-board and final coaching to send a message through our facebook page now for your major ship we also have your intent coaching for majorship your schedule of live coaching is on the screen right now there might be some uh, minor minor changes now for example if your your coach is not available on a Saturday then po pwede natin ilagay on a Sunday but again just check your Facebook group your group for your majorship so that you can get updated with our schedules but our tentative schedule of course for our intensive coaching for our majorship are on August 20, August 27, September 3rd, 10, 17, and 18. This is all at 7 p.m. Philippine time pa rin po. Available majorship, of course, it's English, Math, Biology, MAPE, Social Science, and Filipino. Again, if you'd want to join us, we still have our promo for Team Piaché. So po, pwede pa rin po kayong humabol. Po, pwede niyo pong balikan lahat ng ating videos. Kung hindi naman po kaya, no, even if you are a member of Team Piaché and feeling mo kulang pa rin yung prep mo for uh, your licensure exam for teachers, mag-movie marathon po, balikan po lahat ng ating video, especially yung playlist natin ng live streams natin, o Gen Ed and Prof Ed live stream playlist natin dyan po sa ating YouTube channel. We have over 500 videos sa ating YouTube channel that can help you prepare for your upcoming licensure exam. And um, for your Team Bruner, Team Bruner naman po, this is for the members or this is going to be for the takers of March na left. If you will be taking the left this March, upcoming March of next year, our orientation starts on October 2nd. Our review starts on October 8th. Again, if you'd want to become a member of Team Bruner for March 2023 licensure exam for teachers, just send us a message to our Facebook page. Okay? Now... Uh, tonight's discussion is centered on general education, but of course, before we start with anything, let's all have our opening prayers. So, samahan niyo po ako mga kaguro. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength, creativity, and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. Now, once again, this is General Education. Please do not forget to like, love, share our video, start a watch party if you can. Please do send us your stars on Facebook, Super Chat, Super Stickers naman po sa YouTube. Maraming maraming salamat po to all our supporters, to all our star senders, Super Chatters, Super Sticker Senders. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay, again, please do like, love, share our video. We will start in a few minutes. Pakilike na po at love ng ating video. Maraming salamat, Sir Brajam. 
Gonzales Barrias for sending us stars. Thank you po. Again, sa lahat ng ating mga star senders, super sticker senders, super chatters, maraming maraming salamat. Ganon din po sa... Uh, mga nag-share na, no? nag-like na, nag-love ng ating video. Again, please do like, love, share our video. Very important so that we can reach out to more people. We start with question number one. Number one, two of his best-known works are Pieta and David. Or Pieta and David. Is it letter A, Michelangelo? Letter B, Donatello? Letter C, Raphael? Or letter D, Da Vinci? Okay, what's your choice for question number one? Si Facebook user, nagpapashout out, no? Newbie from province of the Nagat Islands. Pero hindi ko po makita yung inyong name. So the next time that we have our live stream, you need to log into your, or mag-register po sa StreamYard para po nakikita ko yung inyong names. Okay, I see letter A's in our chat box. Again, please do like, love, and share na po ng ating video. Maraming salamat po. Mabibiyayaan lahat ng mga nag-share na nag-start ng ating watch party. Of course, if you can, send us stars, send us super chat, super stickers. Maraming salamat po. Okay, I see letter A's sa ating question number one. All right, going back to question number one. Two of his best-known works are Pieta and David. Is it letter A, Michelangelo? Letter B, Donatello? Letter C, Raphael? Or letter D, Da Vinci? Okay, so letters A, B, C nyo po. I know ito ay names din ng ating mga Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, no? But bago sila ginamit sa ating uh, Ninja Turtles, sila din po ay names ng famous Italian artists, na no? si Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, isa pa si Leonardo, no? and of course, choice din naman si Da Vinci, also very famous. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Cheng Hofdal, ganun din po kay Ma'am, hindi ko nakikita si Ma'am, April and Canada, maraming maraming salamat po for your super stickers. Okay. So again, going back to this question, sino ba yung ating hinahanap? And the correct choice, of course, here is letter A. No? So tumpak karamihan sa inyo, that would be letter A, Michelangelo. Let's take a look at our discussion. Okay, so these are two of the most famous works of Michelangelo, David. Heroic in form and stature at 14 feet and 3 inches tall. Hindi pa included yung base. Precise over the Galleria dell'Accademia in Florence. In Italy, it signifies the Florentine or Florentine Republic's freedom from the Medici rule. Okay, so napaka manly ng David, na medyo censored. All right, now this one is Pieta. The Pieta was commissioned for the French Cardinal Jean de Belhires, who was a French ambassador in Rome. The sculpture in Carrara marble was made for the Cardinal's funeral monument but was moved to its current location at St. Peter's Basilica. It is the only piece Michelangelo ever signed. Okay, so lumalabas po ito sa let. Anong only piece that Michelangelo ever signed? Your answer would be the Pieta. And of course, David was also one of his best works. Okay, so Dave, uh, si Michelangelo po yung ating hinahanap, letter A. Now, what about the rest of our choices? Donatello, he also had his uh, sculpture that was also titled or named David, no? But it's very different from the David of Michelangelo. Nakikita niyo naman yung David ni Michelangelo, very manly. May lumalabas pa, no? may nakalabas pa, um, nakalantad lahat. Pero yung kay Donatello naman, um, medyo pa-girl, no? Yung kanyang, although meron din nakalabas, medyo censored din, ay medyo pa-girl. May mga hat siya, may mga flowers, okay, and so on. Now, Donatello's bronze David, now in Bargello Museum, is his most famous work and the first known freestanding nude statue produced since antiquity. Some have perceived the David as having homoerotic qualities and have argued that this reflected the artist's own orientation. Si Donatello kasi ay medyo pa girl. Okay, so yung kanyang sculpture, of course, also reflected his personality. Medyo pa girl din yung kanyang David. Uh, now, this was the work of Raphael. He was an Italian painter and architect of high renaissance. His work is admired for its clarity of form, ease of composition, and visual achievement of the Neoplatonic ideal of human grandeur. Together with Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, he forms the holy trinity of the high renaissance. So, pinaka sikat na no, pinakabantog kung meron tayong triumvirate na si Rizal, si Del Pilar, at si... 
um, Plaridel, no? as Plaridel Place, si Del Pilar, uh, si Lopez Haina, meron din silang Holy Trinity, meron din silang kayo, very of the High Renaissance. So you have Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Hindi nila sinama si Pagirl na Donatello. And this was Raphael's work. Is uh, this is called? It's called. Um, this is called the School of Athens. And dito depicted yung mga uh, Greek philosophers natin, yung John si Plato, na yung si Aristotle, and all other Greek, uh, very famous Greek people. Okay, so that's the School of Athens by Raphael naman. And of course, Leonardo da Vinci is also very famous. He is identified as one of the greatest painters in the history of art and is often credited as the founder of the High Re Renaissance. The Mona Lisa is his best-known work and often regarded as the world's most famous painting. Lumalabas po ito sa left, no? Si Mona Lisa. The Last Supper is the most reproduced religious painting of all time, and his Vitruvian Man drawing is also regarded as a cultural icon. Okay, so this one, Vitruvian Man, nakikita nyo ito sa medicine, no? Na, nakikita siya lagi, and of course, ito namang Last Supper, maraming kitchens na merong Last Supper, no? So it is the most reproduced religious painting of all time, okay? So this is Da Vinci. But of course, we were looking for letter A, Michelangelo, okay? So congratulations po sa mga tumpak, sa mga ligwak, at least sa actual let, alam nyo na kung ano yung magiging sagot. We move on with question number two. The following are national artists for theater, except letter A, Rolando Tino, letter B, Severino Montano, letter C, Ramon Valera, or letter D, Wilfrido Maria Guerrero, who is your choice for number two. Mamuela Tats Lantapon, maraming salamat po for sending us stars. Mm hmm Si Ma'am Rachel Grace Cortez Makatis Bes, basahin ko lamang yung kanyang comment. Hello, Ma'am Mac. I'm your silent reader and follower ng Gurong Pinoy. Maraming maraming salamat po sa free let videos sa YouTube. After three takes, let passer na po ako. June let 2022. God bless sa inyo. Maraming salamat and of course, congratulations. Ganap na siyang LPT. No? So kayo na po yung susunod, yung mga nanonood sa ating ngayon. But please do not forget to, of course, like, love, and share our video para po tayo ay mabiyayaan. Ma'am Gigi Fabre, Nakaituna, Dimadukot. Hello po. From Kibawe, Bukidnon. Bukidnon ba? Nakakat po yung inyong uh, comment. Ma'am Phoebe, Phoebe Soriano, maraming salamat po for the stars. Okay, letter C. I see a lot of letter C sa ating question number two. The following are national artists for theater, except, okay, sino kaya ang tumpak na choice? Okay, but before that, let me just read this. No, Facebook user, hindi ko po nakikita yung inyong name. Uh, hi, Ma'am Mac, Team Peche po ako, LPT na po ako, June, hashtag June. Isa po kayo sa rason kung bakit ako nakapasa sa let, the best po ang Gurong Pinoy. Hindi po kayo magsisi na nag-enroll at nanood po kayo sa kanila. Congratulations and of course, maraming salamat for your positive feedback. Sir Rog Calma, thank you for sending us stars. Ganon din kay Ma'am Charmy, Alentijo, Barcelo. Maraming salamat po. Okay, for number two... The exception here is letter C. That's Ramon Valero. No? So marahit marami sa inyo tumpak din. Okay, so this right here is a picture of Sir Ramon Valera. Not Valero, but Valera. Uh, he's also called Ramoning. Okay, so medyo pa girl din siya. Valera is known to the public as the high priest of local fashion. He transformed the traditional Maria Clara outfit into a wedding gown with bell sleeves, which at first was considered a disgrace to the Filipino standards. So, siya yung pauso na uh, yung, yung bell sleeves ng ating Maria Clara. His clients included Manila's then socialites like Susan Magalona, Gloria Romero, Baby Araneta Flores, and the Philippines' first ladies from Aurora Quezon to Imelda Marcos. He was proclaimed National Artist for Fashion Design by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in 2006. Okay, so hindi po siya National Artist for Theater. He was a National Art Artist for Fashion Design. Now, the rest of your choices, of course, are all National Artists for uh, Theater. Rolando Tino was known for translating Western classics, which includes the works of Sophocles, Shakespeare, Ibsen, Chekhov, Puccini and Verdi into Tagalog. He did these translations in order to advance the Filipino language. He was a prolific poet and writer who helped establish 
uh, the Filipino language drama in the 1970s. He was made a national artist of the Philippines for theater and literature in 1997. Now, si Severino Montano naman organized the Arena Theater. Lumalabas po ito si Severino Montano, uh, the one who organized the Arena Theater as Dean of Instruction of the Philippine Normal College to bring drama to the masses. He used his own money, about 1,000 pesos, to start the Arena Theater, a theater in the round. Due to the PNC being unable to fund the theater, Montano volunteered his services to plan for a self-financing national drama program that would serve the grassroots, the barrios of the Philippines. So, so nag-reach out siya, nagkaroon siya ng arena theater, the, the theater, para siya mobile theater din. Okay, now this here is Wilfrido Maria Guerrero organized and direct, directed the UP mobile theater naman siya, which traveled around the Philippines to give performances. The UP mobile theater received two awards when he was director. Uh, the Citizens Council for Mass Media Trophy, Trophy in 1966 and the Balagtas Award in 1969. 1997, Guerrero was posthumously distinguished as a national artist for Philippine theater. Okay, so lahat sila ay theater. But of course, we were looking for Ramoning, no? Ramoning Val, uh, Valero. Okay, we go to number three. What does the Pascal or PA measure? Is it letter A, velocity, letter B, mass, letter C, pressure, or letter D, temperature? Yung anak ko sumasagot din, no? Mm -hmm. Maraming salamat, Ma'am Leia Sabra, for sending us a super sticker dyan naman po sa YouTube. Thank you so much po. Okay, who is your choice or what is your choice? I mean, for number three, Ma'am Jean Villarmia Seniza Galico. Maraming salamat po for sending us stars. Ganun din kay Ma'am Nicole Aquino. Sir Dari Laybag, maraming salamat. Ma'am Lainiel, si Olmo, shout out po sa lahat ng ating mga star senders. Thank you so much. Okay, I see a lot of letter C is pressure for number three. And of course, letter C ang ating tumpak na choice. Okay, so the Pascal is a measure for pressure, for air pressure. This unit was named after Blaise Pascal, noted for his contributions to hydrodynamics and hydrostatics and experiments with a barometer. Remember, but your barometer is a weather tool that measures air pressure. The name Pascal was adopted for the SI unit Newton per square meter by the 14th General Conference on Weights and Measures in 1971. Okay, so Pascal measures pressure. Letter C, ang ating tumpak na choice, not velocity, not mass, not temperature. We go to number four. In which layer of the atmosphere can you find the ozone layer? Letter A, troposphere. Letter B, mesosphere. Letter C, stratosphere. Or letter D, exosphere. What is your choice for number four? Ma'am Febi Soriano, maraming salamat again for sending us stars. Ganon din kay Ma'am Larry Me Conception II. Ma'am Yunita Canke Lapasaran, maraming salamat po. Sir Fitzgerald Barrairo, maraming salamat. Watching from Aya, Talisay, Batangas. Thank you po. Ganon din kay Ma'am Diana Boebo Bocalig Il or the second. Ma'am Nicole Aquino, maraming salamat po for being one of our star senders. Again, maraming maraming salamat po to all our star senders and super chatters. Thank you so much. Okay, again, please don't forget to like, love, and share our video. Thank you so much for sharing our video so that we can reach out to more people. Okay, I see a lot of letter C's at the comment box. We are talking about the different layers of the atmosphere. Okay, now you all know that the atmosphere is that uh, very thin layer of gas that protects the earth from the harmful rays of the sun. No? And of course, one very important part of that is the ozone layer. Ozone has the chemical formula of O3, so three atoms of oxygen, yung ozone. 
Okay, now, in which specific part or in which specific layer of the atmosphere can you find the ozone layer? I see a lot of letter Cs, and letter C is tumpak, no? that's the stratosphere. Let's take a look at our explanation. No? So here you see the different layers of the atmosphere of the Earth, starting from the lowest, which is a troposphere. No? Now, a uh, very common question in the let. It's about weather disturbances. Lahat ng klase ng weather, yung typhoon, hurricane, yung inyong uh, storms, this would all be found in the troposphere. No? So the lowest layer, the layer which is nearest the, the surface of the earth, and it is where all weather disturbances would happen. Stratosphere, sabi natin kanina, this is where you can find the ozone layer. No? So that's a stratosphere. The next layer, the middlemost, is mesosphere. This is known to be the coldest layer of the atmosphere. Now that's your mesosphere. Thermosphere is the next layer, the hottest. And in thermosphere, you find a very special layer which you call your ionosphere. No, ionosphere po yung ating um, thermosphere ay merong ionosphere. And of course, your ionosphere is the reason why you see the dancing lights or the northern lights, your aurora borealis, uh, northern hemisphere. Now, that can be found in your ionosphere, which is also part of your thermosphere. Also, very common question in the left is, in which layer or what layer of your atmosphere bounces uh, the radio signals back to the earth no? allows you to listen to the different radio uh, signals, radio frequencies. Your answer would also be ionosphere, which is also part, again, of your thermosphere. And, of course, you have the exosphere. By exo, we mean this is the outermost layer, okay? Outermost layer na po siya. But we were looking for letter C for number four. Congratulations again. Medyo maraming tumpak, no? Medyo uh, familiar na sa inyo yung ating mga tanong. Very good. We go to number five. A body at rest will remain at rest and the body in motion will remain in uniform motion along a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. This is stated by letter A, law of acceleration, letter B, law of amalgamation, letter C, law of interaction, or letter D, law of inertia. Okay, what's your choice? Number five. Ano po yung ating tumpak na choice for question number five? Thank you, Ma'am Inaj Lehman, for sending us stars. Thank you so much, Bo. Ma'am Margie Amosco, maraming salamat for sending us stars. Nanonood habang nagpapakain ng anak, Ma'am Shanlexi Maharalim. No? Hello po sa lahat ng ating mga moms, katulad ko, sa lahat ng mga may mga side gigs ng mga online sellers, sa lahat ng ating mga small negosyante, uh, Nag-online review sa atin, of course, habang nagtatrabaho, habang nagpapakain ng anak, habang nag-aalaga nag ng family, maraming maraming salamat po for tuning in. Sir Nel Santiago, maraming salamat for the kind comment. Good evening, Ma'am Mek. I'm very thankful na discover ko tong channel na to. Marami po akong natutunan kung paano atakihin ang question, especially sa Prof. Ed. Na why kaming kukuha ng let sa September, papasa kami, first taker po. God bless po sa Gurung Pinoy. Sigurado pong papasa. Okay, what's your choice? I see a lot of letter Ds for question number five. And of course, letter D ang tumpak na choice. Now, so sabi ng letter D mo, a body at rest will remain at rest. Kung hindi siya move, it will remain at rest. So kung yung isang bagay hindi mawawala, sabi ng aking lolang ulyanin, ang isang bagay po ay hindi mawawala kung walang kukuha, no? kasi hindi siya maglalakad. Yan yung sabi ng inertia mo. A body at rest will remain at rest. If it's resting, it will just continue to be at that position, not moving at all, unless there is an external force, unless na itulak mo siya or um, i-push mo siya or i-pull mo siya. And a body in motion will remain in uniform motion unless there is an external force that acts upon it. Okay? So that's the law of inertia. Now, um, common questions in the let sa law of inertia, no, bakit tayo nag-wear ng seat belt? That's because of the law of inertia. Pag ikaw ay nasa loob ng sasakyan, and your, your, the car is moving and your body is also moving along with the car, when the driver um, presses the brake, 
your body has inertia and so tendency ng inyong katawan is to continue moving kaya ka nag move forward no kapag ka nag brake yung inyong driver and so very important that you are wearing your seat belt so that you can avoid any unforeseen circumstances any accidents if your uh, you you are inside a car a stopped car not moving car and the driver suddenly starts the car and uh, the car starts moving your body naman would be pushed backward because your body wants to be at rest no that still is the law of inertia so law of inertia pa rin po yan your law of acceleration ang law of inertia mo that's the first law of motion a law of acceleration mo is the second law ito po yung mga uh, law of motion according to laws of motion according to newton uh, isaac newton never been kissed never been touched by a virgin no yan yung sabi nila si sir isaac newton he gave us the three laws of motion and of course the law of inertia here that's his first law of motion law of of acceleration that's the second law of motion sabi naman ng law of acceleration mo force equals mass times acceleration so f here is force and it is equal to mass and acceleration uh, mass times acceleration that means if you want to if if the mass is higher mas malaki yung isang bagay dapat is mas malaki din yung puwersa kailangan mo to move it and of course kapag ka uh, uh, acceleration niya, gusto yung mas matulin yung kanyang takbo, mas malaki din dapat yung force na iyong i-exert. No? Ayan yung sabi ng uh, law of acceleration mo, force equals mass times acceleration. Now, law of amalgamation, this is already part of your business. No? This is a combination of one or more companies into a new entity. Uh, in other words, this is also called a merger of companies. So it's the law of amalgamation. Law of interaction, this is the third law of motion, still by Isaac Newton. This is also called the law of action reaction. Sabi dito sa law of interaction mo or law of action reaction, uh, whenever you apply a force on a certain body, that body also applies an equal amount of force. So equal amount of force then yung ina-apply ng body but opposite in direction. Kaya kung inyong napapansin si Senator Manny Pacquiao, no, kapag siya ay nagbo-boxing, if he applies 100 newtons, for example, sa face ng kanyang kalaban, ang face ng kanyang kalaban ay nag-a-apply din ng 100 newtons na na force sa kanyang kamao. No? So, equal amount of force, pero opposite yung direction. So, if he is hitting the, the body this way, or the face this way, the face is hitting his fist also the opposite direction. So yan yung sabi ng law of action-reaction. For every action, for every force, there is going to be an opposite reaction, now, this equal amount of force, but opposite in direction. Yan yung sabi ng law of interaction mo, law of action-reaction, the third law of motion. But again, we were looking for the law of inertia by Isaac Newton. Okay, we go to number six. A triangle has a perimeter of 50. If two of its sides are equal and the third side is five more than the equal sides, what is the length of the third side? Letter A, 15. Letter B, 25. Letter C, 20. Or letter D, 10. What is your choice? Number six. Okay, what's your choice for question number six? Okay, basahin ko lang ito. Facebook user, Madam Mek, good evening po, Madam. Ma'am, nindot ka ayok ka mo. Lecture, ma'am. Sa Imuhara ko, nakaabot. Hindi ko alam masyado i-pronounce, no? It's Cebuano. Sa mga isms of education, halos perfect po, ma'am. Hopefully, makapasa kami sa LET sa September 25, 2022. Again, siguradong papasa. Basta tayo ay magsipag, no? Balikan po lahat ng ating videos. And of course, uh, Pagpursige na pag-aralan mabuti, mag-aral mabuti, less muna yung time sa date, less muna yung time sa uh, teleserye or k-drama, k-pop. Um, balikan po lahat ng ating mga videos, especially sa YouTube channel Mag Movie Marathon po. Siguradong papasa. Maraming salamat Sir Ralph Santiago on YouTube for sending us your super sticker. Thank you po. Okay, what's your choice? Oh, sabi ni Sir Jong Antonio, 1.6 agurong Pinoy ang viewers pero sa Team Pesce, 588 lang. Pa-member na kayo para di maputol ang video nyo mamaya. Tama po. Okay, so again, I encourage all of you magpa-member po kayo sa Team Pesce. 
Ma'am May Jean Ancheta Ordonez, maraming salamat for sending us stars. Ma'am Sure Beth Lucencio, nanonood while nagpapa-breastfeed. No? So, hindi kailangang iwanan yung anak sa ating online review. Pwedeng-pwedeng alagaan yung baby habang nagre-review. Ma'am Charney Alentijo Barcelo, again, thank you po for sending us stars. Ma'am Rosel Ann Barde, ganun din, nanonood habang nag-aalaga sa anak. Okay, so sa lahat ng ating mga nanay, hello po. Sa mga tatay, ganun din po. Sir Dolly Gray or Dol Gray, maraming salamat for sending us stars. Ma'am Susana Diola Isla, thank you po for the stars. Ma'am Nicole Aquino, again maraming salamat for the stars. Ganun din kay Sir Abel Villarreal, maraming salamat po. Ma'am Joyce Nava Alarilla, yes, meron po tayong for majorship. Mamaya po tingnan niyo ulit sa uh, beginning ng ating video. Meron po akong binanggit doon. Okay, number six. A triangle has a perimeter of 50. If two of its sides are equal and the third side is five more than the equal sides, what is the length of the third side? Letter A, 15. Letter B, 25. Letter C, 20. Or letter D, 10. Let's take a look at our explanation. Now, sabi niya, uh, the perimeter is 50. Now, you all know the perimeter is just the sum of all sides. So, when you measure all the sides of your triangle, the three sides, the sum would be equal to 50. Two of its sides are equal and the third side is 5 more than the equal sides. So, if you have the perimeter as 50, your two sides are equal. So, we write this as 2S. And the third side is 5 more than the equal side. So your third side here is represented by S plus 5. Now 5 more than the equal side. So 50 is equal to 2S plus S plus 5. Okay, so again, your S plus 5 here would represent the third side, which is 5 more than the two equal sides here represented by your 2S. Okay, so now we are going to get the value of S. No? So kailangan natin malaman ano ba yung value ng S. So we are going to isolate your, your variables muna. So lilipat natin itong plus 5 or positive 5. We need to, um, to minus or to subtract 5 at both sides. And so you have, uh, combine muna pula, pala natin to. Kinombine muna natin yung 2S plus S. That will be equal to 3S. So 3s plus 5, and then we subtract 5 at both sides of your equation, and so we have 50 minus 5 equals 3s. Okay, so 3s na lamang natira dahil we subtracted minus 5 here, no? we, we subtracted 5 here. So plus 5 minus 5, that will be equal to 0. Now 50 minus 5, of course, that would give us 45 equals 3s. And so to get the value of S, we divide both sides by 3. We have 45 divided by 3 equals S. And so the value of S is 15. No? So 15 po yung value of S. Pero yung hinahanap natin is the length of the third side. Ayan. Okay? The length of the third side. What is the length of the third side? And sabi dito, the third side is 5 more than the equal sides. Remember, your third side was represented by S plus 5, no? S plus 5. And so if S equals 15, to get the value of the third side, that would be S plus 5 or 15 plus 5. Hence, your choice should be letter C. 20. Okay, so letter C, 20 po yung ating hinahanap. Again, basahin mabuti yung inyong question. Sometimes alam nyo kung paano isolve, pero nagiging mali yung inyong choice because hindi binasa masyado yung question. Nagmadali, no? so hindi nakita third side po yung ating hinahanap, which is 5 more than the equal sides. So if your third side is S plus 5, S being 15, your answer would be 20. Okay? So letter C, 20, ang tumpak na choice. Okay lang po, pagligwak na move on ka agad. Katulad sa pag-ibig, kapag ka nabigo, move on ka agad. No? And uh, um, basta bawi tayo sa actual let. We go to number 7. The area of a rectangle is 64. If its length is 16, what is its perimeter? Letter A, 48. Letter B, 20. Letter C, 40. Or letter D, 8. Again, if you'd want to become a member of Team Piaché, pwede, pwede pa rin pong humabol. Pwede nyo pong makita lahat ng full-length videos natin doon kahit yung since last year pa nung tayo nagsimula. And of course, uh, lahat po ng files natin nandun. Okay, number seven, what's your choice? This is still your favorite, math. 
Ma'am Larry, may conception the second. Team Brunner ka po pala, ma'am. Wala pa po tayong link kasi sa Team Brunner, no? So, uh, ngayon po, you are still watching on our Facebook page. So, napuputol po na yung ating video dyan sa ating Facebook page. Ganun din po sa ating YouTube channel. So, yung iba po, yung mga members ng Team Piaché uh, na hindi pa magtitake this September, ay nagpapamember po sila ulit for Team Brunner. And of course, we we have our discounts for those team members. Ma'am Faisalia Pangandaman, maraming salamat for sending us stars. Assalamu alaikum po to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. And of course, good evening din sa ating mga Christian brothers and sisters. Okay, I see a lot of letter A's. Ma'am Lizelle, sumalbag kaliboso Esteban. That means po, uh, you are watching sa ating pong Facebook page. So doon ka po sa Team Piaché ma manood ma'am. Para hindi po putol. I-search mo po, Team Piaché. And of course, if you are a member, you would be able to see the contents of the group. Doon ka po manood, ma'am. Nanonood habang nagpapatulog ng mga anak. Hello from Pangasinan, Ma'am Elizabeth Jimenez Custodio. Hello po. Good evening. Again, hello sa lahat ng ating mga nanay, tatay, titos, titas. Hello po. May lolos, lolas na rin. Okay, now the area of a rectangle is 64. If its length is 16, what is its perimeter? So we are given the area and the length, but we are asked for the perimeter. Now remember, your area's uh, formula is length times width, no? Now we are given the area of 64, the length of 16. And so we can easily solve for the value of our width. No? So 64 equals 16 times the width. For us to get the value of the width, of course, we need to divide 64 by 16. Uh, 64 divided by 16, that would be equal to our width. And so width here would be 4. Okay, so width is 4. Now we are asked for the perimeter. Now remember the perimeter of your um, triangle or rectangle in this case here, the perimeter is 2 times length times a quantity length plus width. Okay, so 2 times a quantity length plus width. So your perimeter would be equal to 2 times a quantity, 16. That's your length. It was given. And width, of course, is 4 from our solution here. No? So 4 na siya. And so your perimeter would be 2 times 20. Okay, 16 plus 4 is 20. 2 times 20. And hence, your correct choice is letter C, that's 40. Okay, so letter C, 40, ang tumpak na choice for number 7. Okay. Now we go to question number 8. Which of the following is an application of thermodynamic property of change in volume of matter in response to a change in temperature? Letter A, putting steel utensils in a pot cooking food. Letter B, inflating of a rubber balloon. Letter C, placing small gaps in concrete, uh, in concrete or steel in railroad tracks and bridges. Letter D, handling hot uh, kitchenware with thick cloth. Again, papaano po magpamember? Just send a message sa ating po Facebook page kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. Kapag um, nag-send po kayo ng message no, at hindi pa po kayo na-replyan, minsan po kasi out of office hours, of course, nagpapahinga din po yung ating admin, babalikan po kayo tomorrow. Ganon din po sa mga nakapag-join na, pero hindi pa na-add, hindi pa na-replyan, hintay nyo lamang po. No? So, uh, please bear with us. Of course, babalikan po namin kayo. Okay, number eight. So again, for number eight, the question is, saan dito yung application ng thermodynamic property of change in volume? That means, lumalaki yung space na ino-occupy ng isang matter in response to a change in temperature. No? Lumalawak, uh, mas lumalaki. There is an increase in size whenever you increase heat, no? you, you increase temperature. And ang tumpak na choice natin dito would be letter C, placing small gaps in concrete or steel in railroad tracks and bridges. Ito yung tinatawag nating mga 
uh, junction gaps, no? junction, ga junction gaps yung tinatawag natin dito. So meron po tayong mga steel between sa ating railroad or may mga cracks sa ating road na hindi, kung inyong napapansin, hindi dire-diretso, is hindi isang isang uh, concrete slab lang yung, yung nilalagay sa ating kalsada. Merong gaps. This is to um, occupy or this is to accommodate yung sinasabi ng change in volume. Kasi pag umiinit, ay nag-e-expand yung ating simento, nag-e-expand po yung ating asphalt and so kailangan eh merong gaps between our roads, between our sti uh, our bridges no para po hindi siya madaling masira, hindi madaling masira yung roads mo. So letter C ang tumpak na choice for this item, okay? So importante po alam na natin kung ano yung sagot para sa actual let ay hindi na tayo magkamali. We go to number nine. What is the probability of getting a total of 11 when a pair of dice is tossed? Letter A, 1, 6. Letter B, 4, 18. Letter C, 1, 18. Or letter D, 7, 18. Okay, ano kaya ang tumpak na choice for number nine? Ma'am Aika Bukog, maraming salamat for, for, for sending us stars. Ma'am Ashley Batayan, yes po, pwede pa pong balikan later. No, hindi naman nawawala yung ating video sa ating Facebook page at sa ating YouTube channel. But of course, uh, yung full-length video natin ay nandun po sa Team Piaché. <laughs> Ma'am Cyril Pongos, sabi ni Ma'am Cyril Pongos, palakasan na lang talaga ng Guardian Angel sa Gen Ed, Gen Ed Math. Ma'am Leia Joanna, thank you for sending us stars. Ayon, sabi ni Ma'am Rona Hido. Matter that gets hotter gets bigger. Okay, so tama yan, no? Kapag pinapainit ay lumalaki. Okay, what is your choice? Number nine. What is the probability of getting a total of 11 when a pair of dice is tossed? Now, remember sa inyong probability, no, it's very important that you know your denominator, kung paano nyo isusolve, no, yung ano yung inyong denominator. If you have a pair of dice, yung inyo pong magiging denominator will be 36, no, because each die has six faces. Okay, so 6 times 6, um, 36. And if you only have a die, pag uh, isang die lamang po, we don't say isang dice, no? isang die lamang, your denominator would be 6, okay? Because it only has 6 faces. Pag, um, if you are talking about a deck of cards, no? Deck of cards naman, 52. So 52 naman yung inyong magiging denominator. So dito nagkakatalo, no? Dito may advantage yung mga sugarol, yung mga marunong sa tong. It's alam na alam kung ilan yung deck of cards. Okay, so in this case here, our denominator will be 36, no? Because we are talking about a pair of dice. And we are asked for the probability of getting a total of 11. Get, getting a total of 11. Now, if you have a pair of dice, so, um, okay, and na yung sagot, no? 1 over 18. Tingnan muna natin kung paano ito is sinolve. If you have a pair of dice, each die would have 6 faces. So, yung isang die mo, may 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ganon din yung second die mo. And so, when can you get a total of 11? If the first die would have 5 and the second die would, would show 6. Now, another probability, that's one probability, no? Another probability is when the first die shows 6 and the second die shows 5. That's the second probability. And so, meron lamang dalawang probability out of 36 possibilities, no? So, 2 out of 36. Again, sa natin pinuwiang 36, this is because we are given a pair of dice. Again, I've mentioned, pag isang die lamang, it would be uh, 6 no? divided by 6. Pero pag pair of dice po, 36 yung inyong magiging denominator. Okay? So 2 out of 36 or 1 over 18. No? This is already the, the simplest term or simplest form. No? So 2 divided by 2. Uh, their GCF is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 36 divided by 2 is 18. Okay, so letter C, 1 over 18, ang ating tumpak na choice. We move on with question number 10. 
Ed and Lori went shopping. Ed spends 30 pesos more than Lori in the first store, and Lori spends 12 pesos less than Ed in the second store. Which of the following must be true about Lori's total spending in the first two stores compared to Ed's? Letter A, Lori spent two-fifths of what Ed spent. Letter B, Lori spent 21 pesos less than Ed. Letter C, Lori spent 18 pesos less than Ed. Or letter D, Lori spent 42 pesos less than Ed. What's your choice for number 10? Um, um, Brie AB, Brie Ab, uh, mag-send lamang po ng message sa ating Facebook page, no? Um, para po maging members sa ating Team Piaché or Team Bruner. Okay, what's your choice? I see a lot of letter C's. Tumpa kaya ang letter C. Number 10, I see C's. Okay, number 10, I see letter C. Um, Sir Brajam, Braham Gonzalez Barrias. This is not recorded. We are live. But of course, if you are asking, if you can still go back and watch the video, po pwede po. Okay, so makikita nyo pa rin po ito sa ating uh, YouTube channel or ating Facebook page. But again, the full-length video is on Team Piaché. Ma'am RC, thank you for sending us stars. Ma'am Cheryl Buagas, maraming salamat for sending us stars. Okay, now let's take a look at your explanation. Tingnan natin yung explanation. Ed and Lori went shopping. Ed spends 30 pesos more than Lori in the first store. Okay, so sa first store, ang uh, spending ni Ed was Lori plus 30 because he spent 30 pesos more, no? So 30 pesos more yung spending ni Ed. So Lori spending plus 30. This is the expenditure of Ed sa first store. And Lori spends 12 less than Ed in the second store, no? So mas marami pa rin, mas malaki pa rin yung spinend ni, ni Ed sa second store by 12 pesos because Lori spends 12 less. And so, plus 12 pa rin yung uh, expenditure ni, ni Ed, no? So at the second store... The expenditure of Ed is L plus 12. The expenditure of Lori, kung um, magkano yung ginasos ni Lori, plus 12. Kasi sabi Lori spends 12 less. And so that means Ed spent 12 more, 12 pesos more. And so kabuuan, Lori spent 42 pesos less than Ed. No? Mas malaki yung gasos ni Ed by 30 pesos sa first store and by 12 pesos sa second store. And total, 42 pesos mas malaki yung expenditure ni Ed kesa kay Lori. No? So Lori spent 42 pesos less than Ed. And so ang tumpak na choice dito would be letter D. Lori spent 42 pesos less than Ed. Okay, so less po, gastador talaga si Ed. Alright, so letter D, Lori spent 42 pesos less than Ed yung ating hinahanap. Okay, we go to number 11. Number 11, which two angles are complementary? Letter A, 22 degrees and 78 degrees. Letter B, 67 degrees and 23 degrees. Letter C, 56 degrees and 24 degrees. Or letter D, 140 degrees and 40 degrees. Okay, what is our choice for question number 11? Number 11 po, what is our choice for question number 11? 